question is, do we go by release date and start with Why Girls Rise of the Moon Shadows or chronologically by when the movie is supposed to take place and start with another day, another cosmic year? Doesn't matter what we start with, because we're gonna watch them all. No sleep sleepovers are the best. All night, all you can eat snack buffet is set. Oh, snack buffet. Can you name two words that sound better together than snack buffet? Clearance sale, scientific discovery. It was a rhetorical question. Wow, look at this setup. Mmm, is that popcorn I smell? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Peaches. Peaches, you missed your cue. Uh, actually, we had to leave Peaches at the vet overnight. What? I thought she just had a tummy ache. It's all good, Polly Pie. Peaches is fine. Just needs some rest. But how will she rest without Edward Bunny Man the Fourth? She never sleeps without him. See? Peaches will be fine. Everyone at the vet's office is great with dogs. But no one knows Peaches like I do. She needs her bunny. We'll take it to her, right, girls? Absolutely. It'll give us more time to contemplate the order of our Y Girls movie viewing. And on the way back, we can pick up more candy. I mean, spinach? <laughs> All right, but you better hurry before they close for the night. Huh? They're closed already? Ugh, looks like we missed them by three minutes and 27 seconds. Oh, hold up, I see signs of life. Hello? Excuse me? Bunny delivery! This is not the time to be getting your groove on. Hmm. We'll have to find another way in. Like this mail slot? Smart thinking, Shawnee. Tiny! Wait, shouldn't we hide first? Nah! Tiny power! Remind me to never install a mail slot in my home. Why? Because tiny people with a magical locket might slip through? Tiny people, tiny aliens, extra large mold spores. Mail slots are a real security risk. Honey, will you be my baby? I promise that I don't have rabies. Those lyrics are oddly specific. Peaches! The animals must be in that back room. Let's go, Bit. Wait, my security senses are jingling. There, and there, and one more over there. Better stay pocket size and try to stay out of sight. Smart. There's Peaches, come on. Okay, go, 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 quick. Oh, this one is Gwendolyn, the Malamute puppy. She likes to chase her tail and eat treats. I think Gwendolyn and I would get along. Peaches! My puppy, baby, sweetie, peachy pumpkin pie! <laughs> Go Big Edward! Really? This is when you need me to be specific? <sighs> Go Big Edward Bunny Man the Fourth! <laughs> Tail up, floppy ears, relaxed jaw. That's one happy dog. May all our future selves find someone who looks at us like Peaches looks at a slobbery, chewed-up bunny. Watch this. It's my secret trick to get her to sleep. Do you think it works on people? That move would make me the ultimate Kerpow master. Hi! Yeah, no. That's just weird. Although, I do have this itch on my back you could get. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Sounds like a... <gasps> Little Tip Swamp Frog! <coughs> Peaches can't sleep with all that noise! Oh, poor little Froggo. He looks even more annoyed than we do. Okay, no prob. We got this. We just have to cure his hiccups. <gasps> oh, the quickest way to get rid of hiccups is to get your heart pumping and breath rate up. Come on, frog! Your turn! Any second now! Uh, Lila, I hate to be that person, but I think your workout makes us starting to disrupt the other animals. And I think this frog feels the same way about me as I do. Okay, I 
guess I'll have to get my steps in later. Hmm. There's evidence that being scared cures hiccups. So, what's your deepest, darkest fear? Uh, maybe spiders? Or wearing the same outfit as someone else? Or your peers realizing that you flaunt your intelligence to hide your social insecurities? <laughs> How to cure hiccups. Oh, try eating something sour. I have extra sour balls from the snack buffet. Hmm, but how will we get him to eat it? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Ew, look, Shawnee, a fly. <laughs> His hiccups are gone. Happy Froggy, happy Peaches. Now we can get out of here before we get caught. And Peaches can rest while we get back to our movie marathon. Poor Peaches won't get a wink of sleep with all these loud animals. Right? Polly want a cracker? No, thank you. Right? Polly want a cracker? I said no thank you. Finally, all done. Polly, want a cracker? Maybe you should just take that cracker, Polly. If this parrot keeps squawking, that nurse will come in and catch us. We need to cover the parrot's cage. Then he'll go back to sleep. Aw, a burrito. We can use that blanket. Tiny power! better on her. snack buffet. I could eat three snack buffets after all the work we just did. Luckily, I brought enough sour balls to hold me over. I was so scared about getting caught the whole time, I couldn't even think about food. But now... Fear not, my furry friends. I'm coming for you! It's okay, sir, sleeps a lot. Oh, I got you, Hoppy Scotch. Snuggle in, Rapunzel. Huh, where did this jacket come from? Is this your bunny, Peaches? <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Edward Bunny Man. He knows what Peaches likes. He knows what they all like. Huh. I guess Mom and Dad were right. Peaches is in good hands here. Time for our no sleep sleepover? Yeah. I'm always ready to watch the Y girls kick some asteroid belts. I'm adrenaline rushed and ready to go. I may never sleep again. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Fair 
day, my little antlings. Yeah. I know you're nervous, Jennifer, but don't worry. I've been studying the complete ant fair guide of 21 for weeks. <clears throat> ant farming is the bee's knees. This is not the place for razzle-dazzle, but hard-snouted serious science. Stick to the rules and you'll be the cat's pajamas. <laughs> You're right, Jamal. That is a strange way to put it. But I'm as hard-snouted and serious about science as can be, so I'm ready to win that blue ribbon. The ant fair, judges? An ant mansion? And it's haunted? That step kick step ball change! Not step kick step step kick! An ant stage momager? Returning ant fair champion! Available for selfies! Last year's champion? I couldn't agree more, Aaron. This is nothing like the guide said. Whoa! Picking the 1921 guide to train your ants, huh? That was the year of the centennial, right? What? I thought it was 2021! This book is a hundred years old! I can't do this! I know how much this competition means to you, but maybe I can make it up to you next year. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Shawnee. Sorry I didn't call earlier. I was making this micro theme park for us to hang in, and I accidentally glued it to my hand. How's the ant fair going? Oh, bad. I'm not competing anymore. Not competing? But if you don't compete, you can't win. And if you don't win, you can't scavu. Bless you. Not a chew, scavu. S-C-A-V-U. It's what they call it when someone takes the blue ribbon in the science, chemistry, ant, vocabulary, and ukulele fairs. All you need to scavu is that ant fair blue ribbon. But I'm not prepared. I can't compete with these other ant farms. They're so extra. Extra, you say? I'll be there faster than you can name your ants. Okay, well... Paul, Jennifer, Jamal, Dan, Brian, Brent, Thomas Jr., Thomas Jr., Jr., unrelated. Hey, Shawnee! Ah! Behold, your new secret weapon. I don't know, Polly. Rides, games, a circus tent. You need it extra, and this is extra! Turns out a tiny theme park for humans can also be a tiny theme park for blue ribbon winning ants. Now, let's get you the scavu. Gesundheit. She didn't sneeze. She means... <gasps> Whoa! Nice ant farm! Yep. If you like that, just wait until you see what my ants do for the tiny talent portion. Tiny talent? <laughs> but that wasn't in the book! Yeah, that's because they added it in 76. 76? Oh. You're pretending to be clueless. You can psych me up before the ant knowledge knockdown. Well, I've got news for you. This ain't my first ant rodeo. That was last year's ant farm theme. Wait, ant knowledge knockdown? That's part of the competition? <sighs> Not ready, quitting, going home. Shawnee, wait! You can't quit. You know more about ants than anyone. Plus, your ants love you. You have to lead them to victory. Is it true, my little antlings? You want me to keep going? I think that's a yes. Good morning, Ant Fair Ease. Are you ready to get Ant Awesome? Yes! <laughs> it's time for the Ant Knowledge Knockdown. All contestants, please report to the stage. But I'm not ready! We've got this. I'll teach them something to demo while you show your smarts. Thanks, Polly. All right, you little ant things and majigs. Let's put on a show. Welcome, contestants. Why don't you tell us a bit about yourselves? I'm Amelia Ann Anson, and I love ants so much, I legally changed my last name. <laughs> they call me Mora, and my ants are so cool. It's scary. Hey, Anton, last year's winner. I'm Jay, the creator of the Ant Night Boot Camp Training System. <laughs> oh, right. I'm Shawnee, and I am Shawnee. Tiny power! We don't have much time to practice, so listen up. For the demo, our backup dancers will ride on the teacup doing a simple wave while our star performers exit the circus tent and do a dance number. Let's get started. To the nearest thousand, how many total species of ants? 12,000 species. 
that's correct. The bullet ant. Booyah. Huh? No! Ah! The trap jaw ant's jaw moves up to 140 miles per hour. Correct. Excuse me, ants. I have a whole choreographed plan I need to teach you, and I can't do that when you're... Oh, hi there. I love the enthusiasm, but I was thinking less bumpy. <laughs> Whoa! Um, but if this is how you dance... Hey, what's happening? Help! Ants don't have ears. They... They hear through vibrations. What is the... The largest ants nest ever found was over 3,700 miles wide. Correct again, Shawnee. At the end of the Ant Knowledge Knockdown, our current leader is Shawnee Smith. And all of that can change as we take a closer look at your ant farms and judge your six-legged friends on their tiny talents. <laughs> What's going on here? Johnny, help! Jamal, how could you? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I guess I should have told you Holly was a friend, not an invader. Thanks. Go big! Uh, Holly, what happened? I was counting on you to teach them some tiny talents. I'm sorry, Shawnee. I couldn't teach them anything. Their hearts just weren't in it. Well, duh, Polly. Ants don't have hearts. They have dorsal aortas. Hello, contestants. Get ready. We're coming around to grade your ant farms while also judging you and your ants on their tiny talents. Let's begin with Mora and her amazing fire ants. <laughs> Yeah, nothing burns you, for you are the fire, and the fire is you! Thanks for your help, Polly, but my ants don't have anything to demonstrate, so it's over. <laughs> Thanks, sweets, but it's useless. You can't quit, Shawnee. You have something that none of the other contestants have. Overactive sweat glands? Um, no. The ability to go micro and teach your ants faster than anyone else. There are three more demonstrations to get through. You have plenty of time. Aha! We have a cheater alert. Code Ladybugs! <laughs> Think we wouldn't notice? It's not my fault. Ants don't listen. And Ladybugs are so easy to train. Ladybugs are born to step ball change. They look... Okay. <laughs> Two more demonstrations. You really think I can do it? It doesn't matter what I think. They believe in you. Now go teach them. Tiny Power, Shawnee! Yeah. Hello, Aaron. Good to see you, Jennifer. All right, my little antlings. I know this isn't what we prepared for, but I believe in you, just like you believed in me. Together, we can put on the show of our lives. <laughs> supporting me, even after they weren't so nice to you. It's okay. We just needed to have a heart to dorsal aorta, and now we see Ida... Shawnee Smith. <laughs> you blew us away in the ant knowledge knockdown. And we love the creativity you put in the ant farm. A plus. But can you repeat it in the demonstration? Here we go, antlings. Five, six, seven, eight. I started the day. My chances were all oh so low. I looked your way, my heart said to me, I know You'll never let me down or be late Cause you carry 50 times your weight Your blood is cold, your queen's so bold Now there's nothing I can do I believe in me because of you From your mandibles to all your six legs too Jeez, I believe in me because of you. 
together we will scaboo! Gesundheit! Bless you! And the blue ribbon winner is... Shani Smith! <laughs> you did it, Shani! You scavoo-earned many blue ribbons. And I couldn't have done it without you, Polly. Oh. Ah! Jamal! Get your costumes ready, girls. Operation Best Halloween Party Ever starts now. First, we take my old dollhouse and transform it into a haunted house. Then, get a ton of candy, lots of decorations, and do this custom-made archway that shrinks and grows everyone as they go through it. Power. Thanks to my auto-locket voice command. Regular-sized dollhouse, pocket-sized people. Throw it all in the backyard, set it up so no one realizes they're walking into a dollhouse, and presto! Everyone in school has the night of their lives! And I take my rightful place as Queen of Halloween, ruler of parties, ghostess with the mostess. Polly, you've outdone yourself. Astronaut princess and... Uh... And look at your costume! <laughs> wow! It is such a... costume. I know, isn't it? Do you know what it is? Not a clue. Not everyone will get it, but at least it's not like someone's dad. Actually, I'm one of the lizard people who controls the government. Duh. I was gonna be an alien zombie from Fright Stalkers 2, but it didn't seem like that kind of party. Uh, why not? It's not exactly scary, is it? Oh, goblins! Everyone should be here right about now! Whoa! Our class is prompt! Hello! Welcome to the best Halloween party ever! Right through here! Don't worry about it not being scary. It's still fun. Tiny power! Not scary? Well, that's everybody. We can go in now. Hey, Pocket! Oh, hi, Bella. Right this way. Bella Bigowski? What are you doing here? I was invited, Fashion Pants. Although Pocket said it was a haunted house, not shrubbery. <laughs> um, the Halloween Queen welcomes all guests. Right this way. Tiny power! What is that cheater Bella Bogowski doing here? Technically, school policy is that if you hand out invites at school, you have to invite everyone. I can't believe she came! Classic bully tactic. They pretend to be all innocent, but then... Ah! They hit you with a hearty helping of mean cuisine. Oh, she's up to something. But don't worry, Polly. I'm on the case. Tiny power! Maybe that'll work itself out? Given that Bella has been calling Lila names all year and cheated to beat Lila at the Kerpow tryouts, I'm giving it a 0% chance of working itself out. Right. We'll keep an eye on it. Who wants candy? Oh, candy. Oh, candy. Thanks, Polly. Oh, I want candy. Trick or treat. As my man, uh, lizard of the people, how's the party going? Mm, great. I mean, it's not like the party I went to last year. <laughs> I've never heard so many screams. <sighs> now that was scary. Well, gotta get my bob on. Apple bob, that is. Mm -hmm. uh, Nicholas, I'll show you I can do scary. I'll be the queen of screams. How you doing, party queen? Uh-huh, yeah, cool. Cover for me. Gotta scare Nick. <laughs> Hey, Polly, this party rules! Thanks, we love to chat, but I gotta go scare someone. Ah! Polly, did you see that? Bella? She's not doing anything. All part of the ruse. All dressed up as Flash McIntosh, my favorite hockey player. She's using it to get to me. Clever girl. Sounds like you're good here, so I need to go scare Nick and prove that my party is way better than whatever party he went to last year. But how? Oh, it'll happen when we least expect it. Something dramatic. Yeah, dramatic. I can do drama. Can you keep an eye on the party? Absolutely. All my eyes. I'm like a hawk. Always watching. Go big. Scary. Hmm, scary. What's scary? How about you? 
Animatronics! Hmm, too small. Too big. Just right. You'll fit the costume perfectly, Squirrely. Where's Polly? Am I the only one replenishing the candy corn around here? Lila, everyone's looking for Polly and snacks. Have you seen her? Oh, yeah. She left. Huh? She what? Target's on the move. Important mission. She put me in charge. Uh, why am I the only one? I better go check on that. What are you up to, you sneaky, slimy little... Are you following me, fashion pants? <laughs> no. Did you just do that? No. Well, technically, yeah, but it was an accident. Oh, sure it was. Yeah, because I love being in a dark room at a party. <laughs> oh, great. Another Franken squirrel. Yes, it worked. Everyone, wait. It's clearly just a giant squirrel in a costume. Technically, nothing to fear. Mine. What's Polly's number? I don't know. I just pushed the Polly face on my screen. <laughs> Typical fashion pants. Less worried about being prepared for emergencies than how your costume looks. It is not just a costume. I'll have you know it's Haley Hammerfist's zipline madness outfit from Obstacle Island Super Challenge Season 2. Yeah, I know. You expect me to believe you watch Obstacle Island? Every season? Except, well, I missed. Don't say the slime fjords. Why not? Because it was on at the same time as the hockey finals. Your costume, Ashlyn Flash Macintosh, right? Yeah. You a fan? Avi, isn't that why you wore it? To taunt me? No, I wore it because she's awesome. First in assists, five years running. I should have figured this is how this night would end, with fashion pants ruining things for me again. Me? Not even! You're the one who's always being mean to me! You're the one getting up in my space showing off! First it was the time in gym class! Great job, everyone! First place goes to Lila Draper! The Kerpow Student of the Year, and best yet, Lila! But the icing on the cake was... has broken the record previously set by Bogowski. Shawnee's got school stuff, Polly's got the parties, and you got... The fashion pants, I know. Then you got into sports. Sports are my thing. Now I'm just second place. Are you kidding? You're the reason I practice so hard. You're amazing. Now you're just making fun of me. I'm not. I... <sighs> I mean it. Maybe... We could practice together sometime. You know, since we seem to motivate each other. You want to do that? <sighs> yeah, if we make it out of here. Hey, we're the two strongest girls in school. You think a couple of flimsy walls can stop us? Oh, I wrecked my own party. But in the most amazing, epic, and most scariest way ever. Really? You think so, Nick? <laughs> yeah. You rule, Polly. I wish I could decree this all fixed and get the party back. You need to decree when you've got us. 
I have just the group text to summon the court. Whoa, dude. A real squirrel? <laughs> no, Polly's uncle does movie special effects. He just went a bit overboard. Here, can I see that pic? Oh, whoops, I think I erased it. Looks like things are back on track, your majesty. Thank you, Shawnee. Fixed faster than an alien cover-up. Everyone's back and ready to party. Wait, if everyone's back, Where's Lila? Probably still watching Bella, unless things have changed dramatically, in which case they might be kerpowing each other. Should we go look for her? Lila! Hey, Lila? Oh, the complete history of secret passages? Okay. Ah! We're free! Yeah! Nice teamwork, Lila. Thanks, Bella. Actually, I prefer my friends call me Big. And thanks, Big. Hello? I is anyone? What's up, dude? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna thread the needle. Normally you'd mention threading the needle, and I'd be all for it. But this time, me no likey. I really thought I had the steering thing down. I was sure I wouldn't crash this time. This time? You mean you've crashed before? Only 128 times. But you know what they say. Get out while you still have all your limbs? No, the 129th time's the charm. <gasps> uh, did you just peep? Lila, that wasn't Shawnee. Look! <laughs> Cute. I would never take a selfie with him because he might outshine my cuteness. He's so cute that I want to hug him. No, Polly. The bird is cute, but he's a wild animal. He doesn't look wild. If you don't believe me, let's search it. Keywords bird, Littleton, super cute. He's a tufted pip springer. See? They live only in the wild. And as with all wild birds, they're not to be touched. Right. But, um, what if he touches me? Oh, I know, right? He loves me. And I love you, too. I always wanted a pet bird. I think I'm gonna keep him. Aww. Wait! Rules are rules. No matter how cute, we have to leave the bird alone. Okay, I guess. I'll miss you, baby bird. <laughs> Polly, look! Are you imitating me? Hmm. <laughs> he is imitating you! He wants to be just like you! It's called imprinting. It means he thinks you belong together. I think we belong together, too! Oh, Shawnee, please, can I keep him? Uh, decide fast, because we need to get out of here now. Captain Collywobbles? Go home! Right this... Whoa! Ah, go big! Uh, hi, Mr. Quidnunk. Peeper's playing tricks on me again. Captain Collywobbles, go home and no more trying to get Polly's bird. <laughs> Okay, you can keep him. Welcome home, baby bird. I bet you want to clean up and relax, so... Ooh, I know. Spa time! Exactly. Ready? Tiny power! Whoa! Good things do come in small packages. So, Shawnee. Any info about what spa treatments tufted pip springers like? Nothing official. But I read a book once where these alien bird creatures got these laser brain massages and... I'm sure that doesn't apply. I guess we'll just have to wing it.
Lila, what took you so long? Oh, hey, girlfriend. You would not believe the tiny sweater we found for Baby Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's something I... Come on, let's show him all his new stuff. Wait, I have to tell you something. Hey, Baby Bird. Baby Bird. Baby Bird? He's gone! I don't see him anywhere. Did Captain Collywobbles get in here? No, he's been napping on my bed all morning. Once you look past the fact that he tries to eat us whenever we're small, he's really a good cat. Then where's my bird? Baby bird! Oh no! Cool your jet black jumper, Polly. He's a bird. He flies. He can't, Lila. He doesn't know how to. He must have found a way to hop up there. I'm coming, baby bird. Genie, set room to bounce tastic. As you wish, Polly. You can let go! I've got you! There! You're safe! Whoa, what are you doing? He's trying to fly away! That's what I've been trying to tell you! Fly away? But he loves it here! He hasn't even tried on his new sweater yet! I did more research. Every year, tufted pip springers fly to Woodgrove Preserve to meet with all the other pip springers. When they're all together, they migrate south. There's a live stream from Woodgrove Preserve, see? All the birds are there. They'll be taking off soon. Shawnee, come on. Does this bird look like he wants to fly away from me? Well, no. But it is his instinct to fly. Then he can do it right here in Littleton. We'll teach him. Okay. You're all set. You ready? Wings in place. And all feathered up fancier than a peacock. Then let's fly. Oh no, my hair frizz alert says a big storm's on the way. What are we gonna do? We'll teach him fast. No, I meant, what are we going to do about my hair? Maybe we should wait until tomorrow. Or the next day. Or never. Safety, you know? The bird wants to fly today, so today we fly. 130th time's the charm, right? He's doing great! At the count of three, you'll go solo. Ready? One, two, three! You did it! You're flying! Wait, what? Where are you going? He's heading south, the direction where the other tufted pip springers are. No way, he's just lost. Baby bird, if you want to stay with me, Polly, your favorite person in the whole world, fly this way. I knew he wanted to stay with me. Let's circle around town, then we'll bring him home. But remember, that website said his home should be Woodgrove Preserve. Why? He's never even been there. Home is where the heart is, and the baby bird's heart is with me. Now let's fly! When have you done everything I have asked? You know the storm is coming! Yes, Gigi, I know the storm's coming. I'm bringing the flamingos in right now. Huh? <gasps> A baby bird! Oh, I want him, I want him, I want him! Gotcha, my new favorite pet ever. No! Polly, are you sure you can land this thing? Hold on tight! Are you 
okay? Boo. Mentally, I may never recover, but physically, I'm fine. Me too, I think. Let me see. Oh, the tassel looks good for me. Yep, I'm fab. Phew, the Mod Quad's okay, but I'd better keep it safe in my backpack. Tiny power! <laughs> now all we have to do is get up there and save my bird. I can't believe he's stuck in Grizel's penthouse. Can you imagine the decor? <laughs> we'll get him out. <laughs> Sure, this is a good idea, Polly. There's no choice. We have to save Baby Bird. Whoa. This is seriously freaky. Lions and tigers and gnomes? Oh my. <gasps> Incredible. Even her dolls need makeovers. Imagine if she had your locket. All those miniatures would be made from real people. <sighs> Won't happen. She's not getting my locket, and she's not getting my bird. <gasps> my bird! No sign of the Grandes. Let's move! Excuse me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Ew. Eesh. Shh. We'll get you out of here. Don't worry. I love you too, but we have to run. I have the flamingos, Gigi. <gasps> Sure looks just like my new baby bird. Hmm, that one looks just like. Huh? Gigi must have gotten a Polly Pocket figure for her collection. <gasps> oh, it is my new baby bird! And Polly Pocket's trying to steal him! Uh oh, run! <laughs> No, Tiny Polly Pocket, you wait. Wait till I get Gigi and tell her I captured you. Guess who's getting a second helping of dessert tonight? Oh, Gigi! Gwen! Gwen! Honestly, if Grizel's gonna decorate with birds, she should at least go with some that add a splash of color. Throw in a parrot every once in a while. But you gotta admit, the biological accuracy is remarkably impressive. There's always a way. We just have to find it. <gasps> I know. Go big. Good thinking, Shawnee. Go big! <laughs> oh, boy. Go small! Tiny power! Tiny power! <laughs> <laughs> I guess going big isn't always the answer. All we need is for Grizel to have a time machine in her collection, so we can't go back and do that again. Her collection? I've got it! <gasps> we can use the gnome gardening shears to cut through the wire! My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Hurry! This better be good. I was very busy building important things. I got Polly Pocket! 
Well, where is she? Uh, but she was right there. Uh. Hey, what the? Pocket? No! Hey. Oh. Hold on tight, everyone. Okay, as long as you get us home before the storm hits. I'm not going home, Shawnee. I'm going to Woodgrove Preserve. But I thought you wanted to keep him. I did. But then we got trapped in that cage. Tiny humans don't belong in bird cages, and wild birds don't belong in my bedroom. You should be with your family. Woodgrove Preserve, here we come. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. <laughs> and what the heck is that? Brazil! I'm gonna get you, Polly Pocket, and your nasty little worm-eating bird, too! The base of maneuvers, punch it! On it! Where are they hiding? Oh, these storm clouds are so thick! <gasps> Sweet satin slacks, we got rid of her. Don't be so sure of that. You won't get away from me, Polly Pocket! I want that locket! She's not giving up. What do we do? Idea. We're slowing down. Uh, why are we slowing down? All part of the plan. <laughs> You're losing power, Polly Pocket, but I'm just getting warmed up! Polly, what are you doing? We can't get through that hole in this wind. We'll get smushed! She's right. Statistically speaking, in all probability, we'll end up a sprinkle on the donut. We're gonna take that chance, Shawnee. Time to thread the needle. Ha 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 ha! Can't run away from me now, Polly! I'm too close! Should believe in you too. And don't worry, I'll help. We'll lead you right to them, okay? Aw, I'm gonna miss you, but I know you'll be happy. You belong with your family. Ready? Go! Do what we do, baby bird! Flap! Flap! Come on, guys! Flap for him! Flap! 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 You 
okay, Polly? Yeah, I'm good. Is it the bird? Do you wish you'd kept him? No, not at all. It was definitely right to let him go. Then what's the matter? I don't know. I'll miss him and all the fun we had, like when we gave him that makeover. Maybe you don't have to miss that. Ooh la la, you're the perfect dream. <laughs> A rough landing, but at least we're here. Big's house should be right around this hedge. So excited she finally invited us over. I know. I can't wait to see Big's house. Wow. <gasps> Make that Big's castle. Hey, Polly, Lila, Shawnee. Big, this place is amazing. Yeah, but what's up with the party tent? I thought we were just hanging out. We are, but we're hanging out during a little shindig. Whoa. Did you buy out every florist in Littleton? How many tears does that cake have? There's an ice sculpture of you! This is a little shindig? Little shindig? It's the Grand Bigowski Ball. Girls, this is my mom and dad. And I probably should have told you. <laughs> that you're secretly a princess? Princess? <laughs> Don't be silly. Bella's a duchess. Mom! Call me big or all my friends, remember? So, the Bogowski Ball is sort of a big deal. <laughs> I should say so. It's a coming-of-age tradition for our family. <laughs> and Grandmother Belladonna is coming all the way from the old country for the occasion. She'll be here any minute. Darling, we must go check on all the things. I'm so glad you could join us. Please, help yourselves to gowns from the ball closet. Uh, big? Why didn't you tell us about the party in your honor? I don't know. I guess I just wanted you to all treat it like a normal hangout day and not think about how everything has to be so fussy and perfect. Well, this ice sculpture sure looks perfectly like you. But I gotta be perfect and perfectly perform a bunch of very fussy, fancy tasks. There's a dinner where I gotta keep up with fancy people conversation and have proper table manners and know which fork goes with which of the million courses. And then at the end of the ball, if I've done everything perfect, Grandmother will give me the Bogowski tiara. Ooh, tiara. Uh, I'm just not into frilly stuff. I wouldn't even know how to walk around with something like that tiara on my head. <laughs> Got it. Maybe I shouldn't even No try. way! You can't give up when there's a tiara on the line. I've read all the Princess Pineappoline books. I could help you be a proper princess. Well, technically a duchess. Oh. A duchess in a tiara. Grandmother Belladonna Bogowski, our family's reigning matriarch and the lady I'm named after. Is that a... Oh, oh, dear. Can't have you tripping on that. Mother. <laughs> Lord Edward, Harry is uh, looking well. That's Sir Harry. Grandmother Belladonna! Bella, how tall you've gotten. Oh, and how strong. Let's get to work. There's a tiara on the line. <laughs> And that's the difference between a snail fork and an oyster fork. There's a fork for everything. <laughs> Whatever you do, never eat anything with your hands. Any questions? Yeah. Do Princess Pineappoline books have any tips on memorizing things? It's the Bogowski Credo. I have to recite it tonight from memory, or it's bye bye Bogowski Tiara. Maybe you don't need to memorize the Credo to get the tiara. I can go micro and help you out. I can hang out in your ear and whisper all the stuff you need to say during the party. And Shawnee and I can be your hype girls. Huh. This could actually work. I just have to be totally not myself for the entire night. Everyone's looking at me. Yeah, they are. Because you're stunning. Remember to start from the outside in. Up first, salad fork. Okay, 
On your right is Cecilia Bogowski. She's your... Hey, I know you! Great Auntie Cece! Aunt Cecilia, whom I haven't seen for ages. I mean, Aunt Cecilia, whom I haven't seen for ages. <laughs> Big Truly is an outstanding member of Littleton Middle School. Wow! Apple pie for dessert! A Littleton classic. The traditional Bogowski apple tart. Let ah, me get my pastry fork. The traditional fork. Bogowski apple tart. Let me get my pastry fork. To the right, right. To the right, right? No, don't repeat. No, don't repeat. Uh, uh. <laughs> Woohoo! We should get the credo ceremony started shortly. But first, I need to powder my nose. And perhaps young Bella could use a freshen up as well. Young Bella, our girl of the hour. Do you need to powder your nose? Huh? Oh, I know this. Powder your nose is just fancy talk for using the restroom. Ah, nah, thanks. I made the bladder flatter before dinner. Bladder flatter? <laughs> I think it's just a little tin colloquialism, Edward. How about some actual powder, dear, on your nose? <laughs> Phew, you're finally gone. I thought the jig was up. Bad news, the credo slipped out of my hands and it's on Lord Edward's shoe! Uh-oh. Can't exactly pull it off there without him noticing. And I'm supposed to recite it after the next song. Okay, I can get it. Be right back. I'm hitching a ride on your empty glass. Darling, after dinner mint? Uh, sure. Just let me get my, uh, mint fork. Uh... Oh! Whoops. Sorry. You have a little fork right in your, uh... Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> Whoa. Really up in there, huh? <laughs> gotcha! Now to get you back to big before the end of the song. Sir Harry? Aw, you just want some snuggles. Who's a good kitty? <laughs> I know. I'll fish it out with my fish fork. <laughs> Lost another one. Young Bella's a bit rough and tumble, isn't she? Indeed. Always saying or doing the wrong thing. I never thought I would be passing my tiara to someone so much like me. What? All those rough edges, never sure just how to stand, saying whatever comes to mind. Well, it all reminds me of me at her age. Oh, I hope this life doesn't turn Bella into someone she's not. Wow. Sir Harry, could you give me a ride? I gotta get back to Big. <coughs> Tiny power! Hey, off the board for the win! Thank you, darling. Now, I should get into position for the credo recitation. Hey, Big, I'm back. Holly, oh, you got the credo? No, I mean, yes, but you shouldn't try to be someone you're not. You should be yourself. But if I don't recite it now, I won't get the tiara. Who cares about some silly tiara? Just because I like tiaras doesn't mean you have to. I like you for you. And I think Grandmother Belladonna does too. But she barely knows anything about the real me. Then let her meet the real you. Hmm. Ready, young Bella? Uh, <sighs> no. And I'll never be. I'm terrible at all this stuff. The fancy talk, the fancy dress, and especially not the fancy credo. Have I let you down? Oh, heavens no! You remind me of my younger self. You weren't always so fancy? When I was your age, I would have rather been playing sports than going to a ball. You don't have to change for me to like you, or to be a true Bogowski. And you are my family no matter what. What about the credo? I'll never be able to memorize that thing. <laughs> me neither. That's why I always keep a copy in my pocket. Wow. Your dress has pockets? Of course. I may be less rough around the edges than I used to be, but I still like to feel a little comfortable. Oh. 
<laughs> and, and above, above all, all, being true to oneself is the Bogowski way. Come on, get your groove on, Eddie. I suppose. <laughs> Sir Harry, may I have this dance? <laughs> Is this cutting a rug, as they say? I had people call me big because I thought a fancy name like Bella only fit my fancy grandmother. So, from now on, call me Bella Bogowski. Mind shrinking this for me? Tiny power! <sighs> or Bella for short. Bella, I like it. And more importantly, you like it. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> we're actually going to Cosmopolitan City! Me too! Bright lights, big sights, Cosmopolitan City has it all! The only thing missing is you, Shawnee. You know what they say, when the mold in your science project starts a bloomin', better get a prunin' before it's too late! <laughs> prunin' mold by snipping the excess is key part of the process. Uh... Make sure you go to the planetarium for me! You got it, Shawnee! Bye, Shawnee! Hmm, planetarium? Didn't plan for that. I'll just push back the bike ride by seven minutes, move up boat ride by 12, carry the two. Got it. First up, taking the bus from the airport straight to Grandma's favorite place, Cosmopolitan Tower. Ooh, Cosmopolitan Tower, the most romantic place in the world. You girls strap in up there? Yeah! Mm hmm. I think we're about to take off. Smart thinking, ditching your seats for the carry-on lounger. You get luxury, I get leg. Oh! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> no problem. And please, uh, call me Richard. <sighs> and you can call me Penelope. Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I think this fell out of my purse. Actually, I was just reading this when I tripped. You're a scuba tuba reader, too? I am. Uh, but don't ask me about any of the tuba articles. I'm always like, skip to the scuba! <laughs> Jinx! Passengers, please take your seat. Oh, Polly. What was that all about, Grandma? Looked like a little love connection to me. He's totes into you. No, he was just... Wait, was he flirting? Yes, talk to him during the flight. About what? It's been ages since I flirted. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, I've got it. Maybe I'll offer him one of my to-go oysters. Ew! Uh... I mean, I'd get to know him first, oyster later. Oh, great. Prepare for takeoff. <sighs> so, what brings you to Cosmo? Oh. Just talk to her, Richard. So, are you here for the sock cup? Oh. Out like a light. Guess it wasn't meant to be after all. You don't know that for sure, Grandma. You could still ask for his phone number. Oh, yes, excellent thinking. That's the way it's done these days, isn't it? Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, excuse me? Hello? Polly? Could you move it? Oh, yes, uh, very sorry. Oh, ran the battery down during the flight. Oh, well, I can still ask... Richard? <sighs> At least I tried. Come on, girls! We've got a tower to see! <sighs> Whoa! Uh, hey, Grandma! Go easy out there! <laughs> You've reached Penelope Pocket. Leave a message after the beep. All aboard for the Cosmopolitan Tower! Grandma, open the bag and let us off this bumpy ride! You've been awfully quiet in there, girls. Need a little fresh air? Rooster socks? Well, where's Polly? Oh, I must have the wrong bag. I'll just call her. Don't... Excuse me, driver. Is there a charger in here I could use? Oh, sure. <laughs> What's your grandma doing out there? Give me a boost so I can find out. Taxi! Whoa! 
downtown, please? Huh? That's not Grandma! <gasps> Polly, it's that guy from the play that your grandma liked! How was your flight, sir? Uh, excellent. I met the most interesting woman, but I didn't have the chance to get her number. Aw, he means Grandma! It's up to us to get them back together. So they can switch their bags back and we can make our trip as planned. But most importantly, because they're a perfect match and they might fall in love. Love? How long's that gonna take? <sighs> Who knows? Love follows the beat of its own heart. Sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's forever. Forever? Uh, this mix-up is really gonna throw us off. I had everything planned by the minute and now we'll never make our itinerary. Polly, your grandma's probably already on her way to Cosmopolitan Tower, the most romantic place in the world where dreams are made, sunsets are seen, and bags are reunited between lovebirds. Let's meet her there and bring the guy. All right, Lila. Let's do it. You've reached Penelope Pocket. Grandma, it's Polly and Lila again. We're okay, but we've got a plan. Once you get this, keep going to Cosmopolitan Tower and we'll meet you on the roof. And bring the bag! Thanks for the ride. <laughs> what do I owe you? Jeannie says Cosmopolitan Towers on Rosencrantz and Pickle Street. So we go this way. With that girl! Hey, mister! It's not your bag! Yeah. Oh, follow that bag! Are you girls okay? I got your message. Where are you? Everything's fine, Grandma. I'm almost to Cosmopolitan Tower. Are you already there? We're taking a tiny shortcut. We'll meet you on the roof. Bye! Almost got it! Uh-oh, he's getting too close. Time for a detour. What the? My bag! There it is! Gotta love his persistence. Ah! Looks like we're gonna need to cut through the park. Park entrance, straight ahead. <laughs> awesome! Yeah. Uh, uh. Thanks, mister. <laughs> <laughs> we have to abandon the bag, Polly. We're never gonna make it. Polly Pocket never says never. <laughs> In my bag? <laughs> Did you feel that? I only feel my heart skipping a beat. <laughs> okay, Richard, you let that Penelope get away. You're not going to do the same with your bag. Excuse me, ladies. I believe... Ah! Whoa, sorry to startle you. Uh, just try to get my... Uh, bag? Come on! Polly, look! I think we found our next ride. What is going on with today? Oh. <laughs> this is perfect! It's taking us straight to the roof to meet Grandma! <laughs> oh, seriously? Hit the stairs! Remember your triathlon days! <laughs> just go over there because Richard will get here any second and ruining the romantic reunion is a major no-no but we have to get the oysters out of our hands before we... <laughs> Penelope Richard is that my bag I mean probably this is your bag but you'd better check it oh <gasps> yes my roosters Oh, I just had the craziest day. I, I followed this bag, well, 
Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I've seen bags do some strange things in my day. Uh, are those, uh, oysters? Oh, no. <sighs> True love sees past seafood. Hopefully. Why, yes. I keep a few oysters with me at all times. You never know when you'll be in a snacky mood. For some room temp seafood. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. See, I knew it was meant to be. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm happy for Grandma, but we barely touched my itinerary. Actually, we did a bunch of stuff. Trolley, bike rides, even rode big city swan boats. We also flew high over cosmopolitan city streets. I guess we did do a lot. And Grandma found a special someone. Maybe we should give them some space for their love to bloom. Did you know that Cosmopolitan City used to be the oyster capital of the world? Of course. And they were the favorite food of Mayor Hustleding, who, who invented, invented Oysters Hustleding. Hustleding. Jinx! <laughs> 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 oh.